It's time for every plays multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, my brothers have been quite busy coming. Ooh, Rise and Fall. It's my first Rise and Fall game, and so I get this little tutorial. All right, new features. Excellent. Too bad my first one is not a single player game. Let me put my headphones on too. Okay. Earn historic moments by accomplishing great feats. Each moment will give you points towards your era score, which can be reviewed in your timeline. Era score indicates how well your civilization is doing in the current era. My timeline. It didn't say. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. <coughs> Track your era score to avoid a dark age or earn a golden age. So, golden ages are back. The blue meter, you'll avoid a dark age. If you look gold meter, okay, so that's over here behind where you guys can see. It's basically where my, my, where I've placed my webcam. Loyalty. Free city. Open to claim by mil militaries or loyalty pressure. Okay. So city flipping is back. I used to be really good at that in Civ. Four or maybe three, maybe both. I don't remember. Governors. Okay. Oops. Back. Alliances. <coughs> okay. It's probably gonna matter more in a single player game than with Dan and Dave. Huh. Okay, so there could be emergencies now. Interesting. Okay, so now there's more data here than there was before. Alright. Alright, so I've rolled Germany for this game, which Dave called Dark Ages Coming. Uh, so there's chocolate nearby, which is a luxury resource. That's good. There's a strategic resource of horses. There's the bonus resource of cattle. Uh, another luxury resource. I think it's a <coughs> it's a fairly good site. So I'm gonna go ahead and found the city. I've got some sailing knowledge added. Uh, oh, and I've got the stone over here, which can help. I've got some fishing grounds. All right. So seven turns until growth. Population of one. Full loyalty. It's the original capital. Okay. And we've got the tech boost for sailing. All right. All right. Um, so, they're recommending mining or pottery. I'm going to go with mining since I have the <coughs> stone resource here. For production, I'm going to go with a scout. And a unit needs orders. This guy needs orders. All right, so unfortunately he's over here against the coast, so I'm gonna kind of waste some turns, but I think what I'd like to do is start out here. Kind of scope out where I might put my next city. And it's in a normal age during this game era. So I've got 0 out of 12 to avoid a dark age. Okay. And if I look here, I experience it. Not even founding a city is a historic moment. That seems odd. Alright. So I will hit next turn. All right, we'll save that game. Submit that file. Grab. Go to the uh, do, 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 main menu. All right, next one we've got here is called Dan Will Rise, His Brothers Will Fall. So I like how that used the title. Give it a hot seat. Load that game, see what I rolled in this one. I got Teddy. 
which I have played once before. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at... Just cut shot bean off. As if his head had been chopped off. Alright, now this one I'm Teddy. Alright. Come back over here. Start my turn. Alright, well, I've got a lot of stone. Potentially this is going to be a nice, strong city that's going to build a lot of stuff. Got some bonus resources, got some luxury, another luxury. Got some mountains for education, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's definitely found a city. Gosh darn it, Windows. I don't need your notifications right now. I'm trying to play a game. Oh, for Pete's sake. Build. Alright, so I've got Washington. I'm going to send this guy over here to see what's up with his mountains. Ooh, some horses. Those are important. So as of right now, I'm saying maybe maybe city two. <coughs> we'll see. All right. This game. There we go. All right. Once again, we avoid mining. Choose production. Once again, scout. We'll save that game. Submit the file. Go to the main menu. All right. Next one's called First Rise and Fall Game, which turned out not to be the first Rise and Fall game because it's not the first one I loaded. So, there you go. Uh, I should probably start loading that one. All right, and once again, I rolled uh, the Germans. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. Oh, and to the great Dan or Dave rolled Korea Stone again. Age. That's interesting. To man I know for me, I put, first I put random. Steps, steps, I don't know what they did. You have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Queen Sandu. The stars reveal you lead Korea to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people. For the secrets of the world. All right, let's see. All right, I'm in a different terrain. Got some hills. Got some stone not too far away. Got some bananas for bonus resource. Okay, some more hills over here. This one's not going to be quite as productive as, um, as some of the other ones. Um, so we'll see how that changes. The game. You can go pretty far away. Let's head that way. Oh, we found a goody hut. Okay. I'm going to say go there so I don't forget that next time. Uh, choose research. Between mining and pottery. Or animal husbandry. Hmm. <laughs> Pottery leads to irrigation. Let's do that because that'll get me this bonus resource here. Okay. Uh, we will go with a scout to start with. Next turn. Save that game. Submit that file. All right. 
now it's time for the games that have been going for a little bit longer. So perhaps, perhaps some of these will end up lasting a bit longer. Although not this one. Game three is probably just going to be a tap next turn and then see what happens. Although maybe I'll make it to the goodie hut and then we'll see what was in there. If it gives me another unit, that from the be. first stirrings of life beneath, beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send... Alright, start that turn. Alright, I've got my scout. I've got my first unit. Hooray! Alright. So we got this luxury resource here. All right, so he's headed that way. Let's let's throw the scout. Let's go this way. One move at a time. All right. So next, I wanted to make a slinger just to keep things. Uh... Right. So playing uh, an older game, it still has the older. Uh, UI. I thought maybe you would have the new UI, but just the old rule set. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so let me go to here, change what I'm planning to build, or not what I'm planning, but you know, recognize the fact that I built the slinger. All right, and come back to over here. Next turn, I've got the goodie hut. Don't know what that gave me. All right, we'll save. Submit that file. And menu. <laughs> Alright, I think this game now is the one where I'm India. We'll see. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. Hmm. The sky so above just looking at what he gets, secrets, since I'm uh, the German one of the games. Got an extra military policy hearts, slot, which is pretty awesome. And, guides and I've got extra shores. combat strength with attacking city-states, so Heroic I should just take over city-states. King of the Germans. Your task... Okay. Yep, I was right. This is my India game. He wants to send a delegation, and I'm not cool with that. Um, my sword needs more housing. Okay. He'll get it soon enough. All right, builder. You've got... They want a step well. I want a step well. Let's put a step well. I don't know why I call them agras. Because I didn't know what I was doing. All right. We'll have this dude just kind of be on alert right here. Make a step well. Hey, look, housing. Just what you needed. Boom. All right. Plantation. Ooh, a luxury resource. Yes, indeed. Where am I building the Oracle? Oh, over here. Mm. All right, next turn. Get back to this game. My archer. <laughs> I think we'll leave him here for now. Game to go. Time for the game where I am the Sumerians and not quite doing as well as I am in this one. <coughs> From the first stirrings of life beneath water 
to the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Kinshi Wong. From all over the world, others will come to gaze upon the great walls and... Alright. Couple more turns before I can do anything with Brook. That was that. Alright, so this has been Eric playing uh, Civ 6 multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.